Hi, I'm Adam, um, Director of the Museum of St. Helena, and uh, today I'm looking at the liberated African slave history of St. Helena. Um, so I've selected these beads, um, which I think tell an amazing story about the liberated Africans and their time on St. Helena. Um, to give you some background, St. Helena was chosen um, by Britain as a site to free slaves that were being transported illegally across the South Atlantic Ocean from Africa to South America and the Caribbean. Um, so during this period from 1840 to about 1870, uh, it's estimated that approximately 30,000 slaves, 30,000 individuals were freed and, and landed on St. Helena. Uh, we also estimate that about a third of those, so up to about 10,000, died on St. Nina and were buried um, initially in Lemon Valley and then later in Rupert's Valley. So, so these, this is just a selection of some of the items, some of the grave goods that were found during an excavation that took place in 2008. Um, these are glass beads, they're Venetian in origin, and this is part of a collection of about 17 hundred beads that were found in one individual burial. Um, so they're mainly these red um, beads known as Galley Rouge, uh, which uh, as they are red and they also have a, a green center. So in English they were known as green heart beads. So fairly common and these would have been traded to Africans um, from Europe for various goods including slaves and, and other um, things that they, they produced there. So, um, so it all belonged to one individual, 1700, and we think it was a, a very elaborate headdress, um, which may have denoted sort of a, a high status individual, like a chieftain or um, leader of one of the tribes of these, of, of these people. I think the story of the beads and what, what it tells us about the ordeals an arduous journey that the liberated Africans have to go through is, is fascinating. Um, we, the process of enslavement involved physical stripping of these people at their point of origin, so they had everything taken away from them. Their, their identity was stripped away, and they had absolutely nothing. So um, for, for someone to have got all of these beads here and kept them intact is such a, a miracle, and I think it was a way of um, these people managing to keep a tiny part of their culture with them um, and, and keep that with them on St. Nina and in this case, take, take it with them to the grave. So, a fascinating item.